Yeah, so I'm really digging West Wood Instruments' new Lost Guitar. really simple to understand um pretty much uh let's go over the gui up here you got all your presets you got start here a lot of presets guys uh but yeah you, you can start there and you got uh clean guitar with rhythms and memories you got simple guitar with delay now this isn't your traditional guitar library this is more atmospheric cinematic uh textures this is great for underscoring and, and so forth, but yeah, so you got, you got all these different uh, presets here under start here, but you also got single sounds where you got movements, notes, rhythms, textures, uh, you got blends and you got also a category of movements, notes, rhythms, textures, double blends, dark and light motions, deep flicker, shadow. So, yeah, there's a lot of presets here. And memories, movements, notes, rhythms, textures, double blends of memories, dark and light, shorts, and experimental. So, yeah, I would say this whole library is experimental. You want to add cinematic guitar to your productions. This is the library to get right now. It's, it's just phenomenal. So here we have uh, layer A, layer B. If you click on the name above layer A or B, you can change out what you want. You got notes, movements, textures, rhythms. So if we like, so if we want to do like, um, let's see, change that to Autobahn, you can either, you click that, but you do need to load, hit the load button down here and it'll load it right in, right into layer A. Now say we want to change something like, the mood so click on mood you got temper muse you can increase the levels you got all blur yearn and you can blend between the two layers say you want more B then, then A, you can do that. Change the conjuring to, let's see, uh, th this is a rhythm. Let's try it ticking over. Say we got a blend here, but we want to increase the level. So you can increase the level of each layer. Increase the release. kind of got a kind of got a pulsating rhythm there if that's overbearing just drop the level or fade between a and b now let's say we want to randomize so underneath the autobahn title there's these um there's arrows Right or left, you can change the preset that way, or you can randomize it totally with the one next to it, the, those little, uh, that little uh, icon there. Let's go to late, randomized it to late stage. What is that? That's a texture. You can also preview each one. 
right down here you can click on or off to preview that's really nice to have okay so if you don't want to load load it yet to see you can you can actually preview it and then decide to load it which saves you more time so your inspiration isn't like paused for a minute by loading each preset you can really go fast by checking each one of these out so I, I kind of like distorted dreams so let me, let me load that one up that's kind of cool man say I want to change the motion though so I'm gonna hit motion I can change so sign saw square Random, I guess I think that's random. Depth, increase the depth. You can lock or have it free motion, free speed or sync. I'm just gonna keep it to sync. Now, if I don't want motion, I can click that off. Same with mood, I can click that off if I don't want the mood. And this is with motion and mo mood off. That's really sweet though. I'm going to click mood on though, because I really like that mood sound. Okay, let's go to the bottom here. So here's you got your sounds, you got process. You can mess with your ADSR, wow, flutter, chorus, rotator, compressor, overdrive. You can mess with all that, turn them on or off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it for right now. I'm just going to leave it. That's, that's an option you can have, though. Memories. This is the memories. Now, this is cool, man. So, say... Here's the presets of memory. So let's let's change the preset real quick here. Just the facts. What's this one? There's bounce back. Distant desert. See, when I change each preset, you can see all this stuff changes here. Now I can also No Harm Intended is a note. So let's go back, hit cancel to go back. Now right here in the middle, this is where you can randomize everything. Say I wanna randomize this to something else. Treadstone. I can change this to sync or free. Now I also got patterns. So you got presets. And you also got patterns. So let's uh, do a four beat pattern and see what happens there. Then we can go to places down here and really mess with the ambience and all kinds of other stuff. You got noise, reverb, delay. Let's hit echo down here and see what happens. Increase the haze. Scatter. So it's just, it gives you more options of sound design capabilities. Then we go to places that's, uh, let's mess with the ambience here. Reverb. Boost the level. Let's go ahead and do a delay too. Noise. Let's go back to sounds. Let's blend between the two, see what we got here. Let's 
go to all. Void. See, this would be awesome for underscoring. See how powerful that is. Yeah, continuing with their Lost series, you had Lost Piano, an amazing piano instrument. Now you have Lost Guitar. I love where they're going with this. Uh, th th this is a this is a powerful engine and just a tremendous library. So five out of five stars. Westwood Instruments, Lost Guitar. I love it. Perfect for underscoring, ambient music, whatever documentaries you you name it i mean there's there's so much content in this uh horror drama crime some some fantastic uh atmospheric presets you'll see in this uh in this playthrough tons of snapshots guys so uh yeah you can't go wrong here with westwood instruments and it is contact player compatible so if you don't own the full version of contact you don't need anything else it loads right in there with the free version so fantastic release lost guitar let's get into the preset playthrough please subscribe to the channel and i'm steve with sample sound review i'll talk to you on the next one but stay with me let's check this out